our study was actually looking at a vancomycin loading dose given 500 milligrams uh, four times a day for 48 hours and then stepped down to 125Q6. Uh, and the theory behind this was based on a pharmacokinetic study published in uh, BMC Infectious Diseases by Gonzalez and co colleagues in 2010. Now, uh, initially we did a prospective randomized double-blind trial. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to enroll many patients, uh, about 30 or 40, but we did have a trend towards statistical significance. So from there, you know, we ended up making it the standard of care at Yale Maven Hospital, which is a 1,400-bed, not large, tertiary care academic medical center. And from that, we had about 150 patients in the preload group and 150 patients in the postload group. Uh, and we're able to compare outcomes from there as a, in a uh, quasi-experimental fashion. So this was all comers uh, in the hospital who had a positive C. diff infection diagnosed by uh, GDH antigen followed by a uh, positive assay. Uh, and obviously if patients had uh, were less than ages of 18 years uh, received uh, any other concomitant agents that could have activity against C. diff were uh, within 24 hours of initiation of the vancomycin were actually excluded from the study. That way we would be able to limit compounders. Unfortunately, we don't have many treatment options for uh, C. difficile, uh, a few of which are just uh, flagell, vancomycin, fidaxomycin, uh, there's some data with nitazoxanide, uh, among others. So we have limited options. The standard of care currently, uh, per the 2018 IDSA guidelines, are vancomycin. Uh, in addition to fidaxomycin as first-line therapy. However, we still often see treatment failures. We see slow time to recurrence, of, uh, time to resolution of symptoms. And so uh, what we wanted to do at Yale Maven Hospital is try to optimize patient care uh, through an optimal dosing method. So within the first 24 hours, there is some fear that perhaps you may not necessarily have as high colonic concentrations of vancomycin within that time period. And so giving a loading dose allows you to optimize pharmacokinetics of achieving appropriate concentrations uh, in the colonic space while minimizing overuse of vancomycin given that it's only for 48 hours. There's also less concern of uh, overuse of the drug with uh, cost factors, um, increasing instance of VRE with use of the drug uh, when it's given 500 for the entire treatment period. We ended up actually finding that there was about uh, a half a day in terms of time to resolution symptoms favoring the loading dose given 500 Q6 for 48 hours as compared to the standard dose of 125 Q6. Uh, in addition to that, in patients who were less than 65, we noted that there was a significantly uh, better treatment resolution and clinical cure uh, in that patient population less than 65. Although in terms of time to resolution, we noted that in the entire population, the clinical cure rate that favored uh, the loading dose in the patients less than 65, um, although it was only in that particular patient population, because there's limited uh, harm in giving the loading dose, in addition to limited additional cost, I do think that it should be the standard of care, and that's what we're doing at Yale Naven Hospital, and have kept it the standard of care there. I, I think that was some great data. You know, we want to go ahead and take a further look into it, and perhaps uh, use a hamster model to uh, further propagate that evidence. I have gotten some uh, feedbacks from some other institutions that may be interested in uh, doing something randomized multi-center. That would allow us to reach the number of patients that we would want in a prospective fashion. And so that's definitely a possibility that we're looking to in the future.